Hello everyone, this is Jeff from Lacroix and today we'll take a look at how to reconfigure your board if you have ever updated to the newest firmware of the Fogbox Unity. In this video, we're really concentrated on the version 23.45 of the Fogbox tool. If you have ever still have the, the old version, the 23.44, you can always go look, there's gonna be another video in the description to help you only update some settings. You don't need to reconfigure the old board, but for this video, we'll take a look at how to reconfigure your old board using the Fogbox Unity tool. Thank you. First step is to make sure that the board is placed in a manner that the wheel can spin freely, because uh, once we do a motor detection, we'll need the wheel to be able to spin around. Also, we'll need uh, an Android tablet and leave the remote closed because we'll need it later. Second step is to connect the, uh, the board to the Fogbox UI app. If you're planning on using the app on Windows, it's important to understand that if you do so, you need to open the board and plug a USB-C directly into the Fogbox Unity. At the moment, we're using the Fogbox UI app on Android. It's the same interface as Windows and on uh, Android. So right now, if you don't have download the Fogbox UI app, you can find it in the Play Store. You just have to look for Fogbox Unity. And it's usually the first one that's going to be appear. So we have it already. You can open it. So once you open the, the app, make sure that your board is powered on and your remote also. So now we can go and scan for the Bluetooth. As you can see, the one appearing first is the Unity BLI 1.1. And it's the one we need to connect. So we are connecting to the Bluetooth. Okay, so this is done. The first thing we want to check is the firmware. We want to make sure that this is the firmware 23.45. If your board is already have the 23.44, which is the oldest version, there's another video for you guys. Uh, the description, it's gonna be in the description below and for the version 23.44, you only need to change certain parameters. You don't need to reconfigure the board completely. So now we can go to the configuration. First step we do is read current configuration. So in the battery limits, as you can see right now, it's 10 cell, 34 volt and 31.0. So we need to change this to custom voltage because the voltage we use are a little bit lower than what inertia would, would want us to use or which is proposed by the app. If we just take a look at 12S, you can see it's 40.8 and 37.2. Ores are at 38.6 and 35.6. So we have to go in custom voltage and set them by ourselves. So now we can go down to 38.6. There we go, I just went a little bit over and 35.6 so this is good and for the Nazare and Nazare Lone Star now the max battery discharge is going to be 90 amp and for the JAWS this one goes down to 60 amp and the max braking regen is going to be minus 40 for both of the two boards uh, so now we can go and apply configuration now, the important step, the motor calibration. So we don't need the battery. So the first test we'll, we'll do is the motor calibration. On this test, you're gonna hear the motor doing some weird sound and move a bit around. Don't worry, this is completely normal. So we're gonna start a test. And now the app is gonna ask us to end spin the, the wheel, each one, in the direction we want them to go. So we are good. So once it's done, we can just go and set the motor current max and the max brake current. The max motor current is going to be 75. And we're just gonna leave the max brake current to minus 60. Also, as you can see, everything is green around, which is good. So it should look that way. So we can go and apply configuration. So now this is over for the motors. Now we have to do the remote config. So the first thing we'll do is calibrate the remote. 
Uh, as you can see right now, it's in disable. So we're gonna, just going to leave it at disable for now. We're going to go into calibrate mode. And in calibrate mode, we have to go full throttle, then full brake, and apply. So that should set the, the throttle for the remote. And once it's done, we can go and put the, the board into a forward brake configuration. And it apply at the top. So the remote, sh the remote should now be calibrated with the board and should work. So you can go and slowly make turn the wheel, making sure that the wheels are running in the right direction. If ever you have one wheel that is running the opposite direction of the others. You can just go back in motor calibration and just redo a motor calibration. And it's spinning again. You can see. And apply update. And it should be fine. So that's good. So we have over for the motor calibration. So right now we have done the battery, the motor, and the remote. The only thing left is to the motor temp limits. So we want to deactivate the motor thermal throttling. So we're good with this. We click apply and everything is should be done so the next step is to disconnect and that's it it's over so thank you guys have a nice day